clean your code. And also, let's talk about conventions. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this morning tip, we're going to be talking about clean code, Java conventions, and just all sorts of naming stuff and, and things like that. So what you might have realized while watching my tutorials, that I have a particular way of naming certain things. Maybe you've not even realized it, but you can, for example, see that all of my classes are named with a uppercase character in the beginning, and then every subsequent word also has a uppercase character. Very interesting. So for example, mod creative mode tab. That is called Pascal case and it basically means exactly that. The first word is an uppercase character and then every subsequent word also is a uppercase character. There's all sorts of other casings as well, which you can see, for example, in this one right here. This is what is referred to as camel case because the first word actually has a lowercase character and then every subsequent word has an uppercase character. This is reserved for any type of variable or field. What I hear you scream, but wait, mod ID and logger are all in uppercase because final variables usually are in scream case and usually what you want to do is you want to use a screaming snake case so after each word you want to separate it with a underscore. Now this is not that everyone follows, people sometimes also write it together, I personally prefer this but usually the convention is that final variables are written like this. Now what you're never going to see is things like in the class having an underscore or things like that, that is usually not something that people do. Now, why would it be important to follow conventions? Well, it can be important. I have some Java formatting conventions over here. You don't have to always follow them exactly. However, it is definitely appreciated because it makes reading your code much easier for other people who have been working with Java for a long time. So for example, when you make a class, usually what you want to do is you want to put the curly bracket in the same line where you actually define the class. Same goes with a method. Method names follow camel case, so the first word is a lowercase character, while every subsequent word is an uppercase character. Parameters follow the same rule, it's also camel case. You can see some variable declarations, usually variables are always also in camel case, except for constants as you can see, and those are, as you can see, screaming snake case. Looking at the conditionals and loops, you can also see if you have multi-line code in if statements, then what you do is you, you put curly brackets around the body of the if statement. However, you can also, of course, do one-line codes here with this statement. I usually don't prefer this because, number one, I think this is a little bit easier to read when you actually have the curly brackets. And then also, if you ever want to add another line to the if statement, you have to then manually type out the curly brackets, and I personally don't like that. But that is once again one of those conventions that you can change depending on what you actually prefer. You can also see in this if statement over here, we actually have an AND operator and two different Boolean methods that are called, and one of them is really long. So then what happens is that at the AND operator, the line is actually broken. So we have a line break right here that it's a little bit easier to read because otherwise the line would be very, very long, and we usually don't want lines that are insanely long. So that is something about the conventions. I just highly recommend you try to stick with them. If you don't know all of the conventions, you can just Google Java conventions. Now there's going to be a lot of stuff thrown at you. I've basically shown you quite a few of them already in this video. There's a little bit more, but try to stick with them. You can see all of the packages are all in lowercase. You can see the classes are all in Pascal case. So it shouldn't be that crazy to follow this. I hope that this sort of clarifies why certain things are named the way they are. Right, and that concludes this modding tip right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I'll see you all in the next video. So yeah.